is a choice between whether we will have four more years of total failure because the, what's going on now, we are, na we are a nation in decline. The biggest problem this country has is what they've allowed to happen to us on the border. They've allowed our country to be destroyed. I think the economy is bad. But I think the, and, and it's made really bad by the horrible inflation that was caused. The, the inflation is really the, the biggest problem. She's off. No, I can't get over it. Who the hell takes off? You have 14 days left. And she'll take a couple of more days off, too. Former President Trump moments ago in Miami, engaging in a roundtable with Latino voters and making the case that he is the best person to lead the country. But with two weeks left in brand new Fox Power rankings showing a toss up race, Trump's opponent isn't even on the trail. Long John Roberts in Washington, two weeks left. Can you imagine? Here we go, exactly days. that on this Tuesday. I'm Sandra Smith, good to be with you. John, here in New York, this is America Reports. Former President Trump is jet setting right now across two key states, now heading back to North Carolina for a second straight day of campaigning there. His running mate, J.D. Vance, is courting voters in Arizona. As for Vice President Harris, she has no public events on her schedule today. Instead, she has sent her strongest surrogate, former President Barack Obama, to campaign alongside Tim Walls in Wisconsin. That event set to begin soon. We are looking forward to that uh, beginning shortly. Fox team coverage kicks off right now. Katie Pavlich on the crucial role Obama is playing for Harris in this election. Rich Edson covering the VP's lack of action on the trail today. But first to our senior national correspondent, Aisha Hosni. She is live in Miami, where Trump just wrapped up that forum with Latino voters. Aisha. John and Sandra, the former president, feeling pretty good as he heads up to North Carolina here, wrapping his remarks a few moments ago with the Latino community here in the Doral area. And he started off his remarks talking about that brand new Suffolk University poll that shows that he is ahead of Kamala Harris when it comes to Hispanic voters. Now, here at Fox News, we've got a poll out where he's a couple points behind. We'll put it up on the screen here. Uh, but that's not really the story. The story is that he is eroding the Democrats piece of the pie by at least 11 points when you look at where he was back in 2020. Listen to what he said just a short time ago. I just saw a poll that we're actually leading with Hispanics. That's never happened before. And I don't know, but I don't know, but it's going to be close. I mean, she's sleeping right now. She couldn't go on the trail. Yeah, so no events today for VP Harris, but she is taping an interview with Telemundo today, trying to bring some of those voters back into her side. The DNC is attacking Trump today, saying that Latinos won't fall for his lies, that he's uh, really for billionaires only, and that another Trump administration would be an economic disaster for Latinos. Now, I caught up with Florida Congressman uh, Carlos Jimenez, who says that, that that visit to McDonald's, right, the, the visit that went viral over the weekend, he thinks that that actually helped connect with Hispanic voters out there that that the former president should keep on doing things like this because Latinos are hardworking people like so many minorities out there so many immigrants and when they see that in a possible leader of this country they connect with that and he says that Latinos are coming home to the GOP John looks like that McDonald's visit was a good one for the former president Aisha Hosni for us Aisha <laughs> thank you bye uh, Biden, Biden, Sandra. So. <laughs> I'll take that. All right. Meanwhile, President Biden, speaking of which, is heading to New Hampshire this hour. He is expected to visit a local campaign office to promote the Democratic ticket, all while VP Harris hangs back in Washington. Senior National Correspondent Rich Edson's live there at the White House. Rich, what's Harris doing there instead? Sandra, meetings, briefings, and interviews. That's according to the White House. The Vice President will sit down with interviews with NBC and Telemundo this afternoon, and then tomorrow she heads to Philadelphia for a town hall on CNN. Harris has a rally with former President Obama in Atlanta Thursday. This afternoon, Obama's with Governor Tim Walz in Wisconsin. Harris joins Michelle Obama Saturday in Detroit and then campaigns in Philly again Sunday. Meanwhile, President Biden, once atop this ticket, met with the Slovenian Prime Minister in the Oval Office this morning and will soon leave for some campaigning in New Hampshire without his vice president. He will appear with Senator Bernie Sanders at a prescription drug event, though. Biden has only campaigned alongside Harris once since she became the nominee. The White House explains why that is. There are just 
many other obviously pressing issues uh, that are not just here domestically but around the world and the president has led on those issues he's going to be out there uh, I would say stay tuned there's more to come I just mentioned New Hampshire uh, there's more to come in the upcoming days not on the schedule this week for the vice president a news conference while she has fielded some questions from the press she has not held a formal news conference since biden dropped out and endorsed her three months ago harris has also spent the week trying to reach more moderate voters campaigning with republican supporters like former representative liz cheney in pennsylvania michigan and wisconsin and that's where harris can likely win this thing if she holds on to the so-called blue wall states polling shows an extremely tight race across all three of those states Sandra? All right, the buildup is on. Rich Edson at the White House for us. Rich, thank you. John? All right, let's bring in Katie Pavlich, editor of townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. But that was a real state classy San Diego <laughs> <laughs> moment just a second ago. So Obama's out with Tim Waltz. That's the yes. big event this afternoon before the Trump event tonight. Democrats have got a serious, serious problem with male black voters. Yeah thinking probably that you nominate Kamala Harris, they'll just fall in line, and they're not. They are not. President Trump is reaching them on issues like the economy. And you had the former president, Barack Obama, coming out a couple of weeks ago, very concerned about the lack of enthusiasm among black voters who tend to vote Democratic, basically saying if they don't get to the polls that Kamala Harris may lose this race. And his approach was to essentially shame them yeah. into voting for her because of her race, because she's a Democrat, and because she's a woman, that did not play well. In fact, it backfired in a lot of ways, and she did not go up in the polling after those campaign stops by the former president. She's actually, actually seen her polling decrease in the very places where Barack Obama is campaigning, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and Michigan. So we'll see what his message is today uh, and over the course of the next two weeks. But let's not forget that Barack Obama may not be doing this just for Kamala Harris. He has a lot riding on Legacy. this election. Yeah. Now, President Biden was pushed out uh, in a big way because of his former boss. And so he has a lot riding on making sure that Kamala Harris wins this. 